Welcome to the first day of spring 2021. Today, well, I don't know, I'm going to do some reaction videos, but something uh, happened in the week that I felt very compelled to talk about. I think it's worthy to bring it to light. And I say this because this channel exists for that of um, expressing joy in our world, for touching others, no matter how few or how many, and for my own personal growth, for an outlet to leave a mark on the world, and that's why Katie's Joy exists. It's how I started out, it's the vision that I had, and it is a work in progress, definitely. So what I'd like to do is show you something that, that sounded like negative but it really turned into something really beautiful okay so here it goes um, I've been putting out some lessons recently for the ukulele and on there I have a reply from somebody and it says check out Jennifer Grout which by the way it, I did and she's just has an astounding voice and what she for for what she does and and he, this person goes on to say she might give you some lessons in your lousy life now let's talk about lousy for just a moment if indeed that's what that meant most people would look at that and say yeah lousy life gee that doesn't sound so nice it must be one of those internet trolls right something inside of me told me that was not the case and I'm gonna uh, enlighten you um, Let's first talk about what is a lousy life, okay? You could add up all the things that are difficult and being trapped in life and finding no way out, no respite, no potential. Okay, that could be a lousy life. Bad luck, no money, medical bills, you know, for me, it's low pay. I have to work multiple jobs in order to make ends meet. And I do so with an advancing neuromuscular disorder. It's not life-threatening, but it is extremely um, difficult. Case in point, um, this week I've had a flare and it's like your whole body is just seized up, especially at night, and the pain levels are so high, like um, nerve pain and, and just, it's everywhere. I got up at 3.15 and it was so bad I just had to get up for the day. Well, guess what? I had a full-time job to go to. That's what I had to look forward to and go into another job for supplemental income, uh, which if I didn't have it, I don't know where I'd be. So could that be a lousy life? Yeah, probably. But here's the lesson. It's also a blessed life. Okay? I could be in a position where, you know, I didn't get that second job or something happened to one of the, uh, the, the jobs and, and there's no income or what have you, okay? I've been blessed by, by starting this YouTube channel. It took me a year and I got $100 coming in the mail. Well, you know what? That's going to buy some groceries for. So yeah, is it a lousy life? Not to me. All right, this is not a lousy life. This is a blessed life. And, and also, if we can shine light to others and maybe have enough to give to everyone, that's not a lousy life. So, so at that point, I, I, I kind of thought maybe he meant busy life. So I wrote back and I said, how did you know I have a lousy life? Question mark, did you mean busy life? And this is what I get because no one in the world cares about what you post and the view numbers and comments agree as well. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. There are some people that do care. And you know what? Even if it's one, that's, that's beautiful. So I am not here for these grand, um, how many subscribers, I'm not here for views and likes and, and algorithms and stuff. I'm here for the journey. And, and somewhere I knew, 
this person meant this. Okay. So, it says, Only the people I believe who cared about you were the ones who recited the Quran for them, and you blocked their comments. Now, this is interesting. Um, let's back up a little bit about the Quran recitations. I had a subscriber asked and asked and asked. I didn't even know what it was, okay? But I thought, you know what? All right, let's bring a little diversity into the channel. Let's see what this is all about. And so I did, and then I got a little bit curious. Oh my gosh, curiosity in the world? There's something good about that. At least I thought. Little man, stop it. And soon into this, I realized it started to really change the channel in a way that I did not want to enter. Now, hang with me here. It brought in spam. It brought in an incredible amount of negativity in some people. Some people were absolutely beautiful and gracious and a true blessing, but it did bring in a lot of stuff. Now, I wasn't, I knew it would do it, but in a way I wasn't prepared to take Katie's joy, this concept, and and bring in these things because it's about the journey and and I guess you could say yeah it is the journey that's a great thing so it started doing that and, and I realized who am I to react to the Word of God and who am I doing it for in a spiritual sense God the Father whoever you may call the Creator um, in whatever name or whatever religion, wants that personal relationship with us out of love. You know, I don't need to be worried about, you know, doing things a certain way or, or I should say the symbolisms or, or things like that as much as spirituality. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Traditions, protocols, while they all are rooted in some kind of um, reason and valid reason, is it truly what we're on about here? Okay. So anyway, I decided at that point um, that it maybe this wasn't what this channel should be. I never set it up for this. If I had, it would have been a lot more involved, a lot more comprehensive, and I would have put a lot into it and I don't have a lot of time to do that but and it, it says and you block their comments I had to in, in some cases I absolutely had to do it it was getting overwhelming sit with yourself and make your own research and then he gives a philosopher's corner name uh, which I haven't checked out yet uh, who was one day just like you and this is where the things turned a little bit in in my own heart I knew this person was not a, a, an internet troll. I knew this person didn't mean a lousy life or no one cares because I could see right here. He says, honestly, I don't know who you are and I don't carry hate for you. I just feel sorry for you. And my best recommendation for you, if you don't like what you see, just delete your winner video and keep the rest. Very interesting. I did not delete any of them, by the way. I went ahead and did not make my popular uploads to show on my page. I think that was a very valid point. Now, I don't need to do that for this channel. I mean, it's just something that was set up that way and, and it kind of like defaulted, but I found a way to figure out how to make it not do that. So I took that advice. And the fact that this person does not carry hate told me they carry... Um, things in life that, that, that see the world and see others for their potential. And, 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 and I really, in my heart of hearts, believed this to be true. So anyway, I wanted to come on a few moments. I don't know what we're at at. Just see here. We're at 10 minutes. I don't want to overdo this because these things can get boring. But I'll go ahead and put it in editing, cut a little bit out. But I just wanted to go over what is a lousy life. Can we turn that into something where we see life as having potential and see it for what it could be? You know, we're only here a short time, and I wanted to use this channel for 
for doing these sorts of things. That's what we do here. So I replied back and I said, I, I actually respected that reply and I did find solace that I felt that they cared. And you know, it's, it's just not enlightenment, but care for the world in general and for life eternal, which I thought was very interesting there. So the moral of the story goes on. It just says, you know, they, that they see in me, this person, um, innocence in my soul. Um, yeah, an innocent soul in your eyes that needs guidance for my own benefit. I seek that guidance through life, um, through my own understanding, my own revelation. And um, I think I'm further along that maybe you realize and that's okay. And I just wanted to bring it out. And and what is beautiful about this, it says, you approach the gate, just try to find the key and open it. And it's not just me, but anyone in the world who looks for that gate. And it could be a gate of knowledge, it could be spiritual knowledge, it could be um, embracing an emotion. There's so many things that this gate can be in our lives. A cusp of something new. And I really liked what this person said. And I just was very, very touched by it. And I could not wait till the weekend to discuss it and put it on a vlog and talk about it a little bit. So think about it. What is a lousy life? Yeah, I think we all have a bit of lousy. <laughs> Life does those things. Um, we all have our own crosses to bear. We need to be kind to one another and uh, have courage, you know. Have the courage to do something different, to make it count. So... I just wanted to kind of bring that out that these why I didn't do it. I do expect to lose probably three or four thousand subscribers um, because of not doing the uh, Quran reaction videos. But uh, there's a deeper meaning why. That's it, and I'm going to get on to some reactions today. It's been a rough week for me physically, emotionally. I'm okay and. You know, life is good, and today is a new day. So I'll see you all very soon.